hey, 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 hey. We should do like a dance at the beginning of the show. That's what we should do. What do you think, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can probably... I can probably do a dance sitting down. I'm not very good at dancing standing up, but I reckon I could rock it out in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm actually better dancing when I'm standing up than when I'm sitting. I, <laughs> I love dancing, by the way. Um, depends on the music, but sure. How's everyone doing today? We are back. So exciting. And today, I'm really excited about today's one, actually, because we're talking about... Should we tell them now, or should we should we do the the game from last time? Um, you just tell them. Them. tell them. Don't keep them waiting. Although they probably already read it on the, the title. Oh. <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> uh, today we're going to talk about games we want, right? Games that are on our wish list. Yes. So because we don't have enough, especially yeah, we need I'm, more. We need more. Yeah, and I'm sure that happens to you guys too. I mean, it doesn't matter how many you got. There's always one that catches your eye and that you want and you put it on that list. And then for whatever reason, it's still on that list because you feel guilty because you haven't played half of the ones you got back there. Yes, that's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> that's definitely the problem. Although I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at playing at least once. I, I will say I get a game I want to play it. I'm kind of that person that when you when you get a, a, a new piece of, clo of clothing you wear the next day that's me yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm not that person <laughs> no yeah no, i like i like to try i like to, i love trying things trying food trying clothing trying games i, I love it that's yeah i i expose myself to new new situations i always think like if how i i don't like to take other people's words for it you know because everybody's different so. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, yeah. You can have something that's got a great review, can't you, and not like it, or something that's got terrible reviews, and think, oh, why has it got such terrible reviews? Right. That's that's one of the reasons why I I tend not to do reviews uh, uh, here on the channel on Meeple Village. I will yeah. play the game. You can watch me play the game, and that should give you an idea if the game is is a good fit for you. But whatever is a good fit for you might not be a good fit for me and vice versa. So I'd rather you make your own opinion. And a lot of people ask me, can you do a review? Can you do a review? And yes, I've done some, uh, but I'm very uh, like honest about it. This is my opinion and this is the reasons yeah. why, you know, um, and you come up with your own opinion of it. So, um, yeah. all right. So last time we were together, yeah. you had a very intriguing picture. <laughs> And I knew that it looked familiar, but I couldn't I just get it. Couldn't. No. Yeah. So you want to tell us what it was? Yeah, it was a tiny little snippet from King of Tokyo. So it's a game that loads of people know. Mm -hmm. but, um, how much attention are we paying to these artworks that are on these boxes? That's true. That's true. I, for one, know that I don't pay attention to art very much. <laughs> I love good art, but I don't pay attention to details. So yeah. I think it comes with the kind of work that I do. I go to people's houses. So I have been trained not to look at their messes because it oh, makes me feel yeah. uncomfortable. It makes them feel uncomfortable. So <laughs> that's yeah. that. All right. And so today we're going to talk about games that we want. And Angela has a bunch because, I mean, look at look at the poor bookshelf behind her. She I know. It's does. so empty, Annabelle. It's, it's, so, it needs more. <laughs> It's more. Yep, yep. So why don't you start us off since you have so much space back there to put the, all those games that are on your list. Okay, so my first one. Now, this is a game that I used to own, but I've put it on my uh, my list of really wanting it because it was stolen from me and I've never been able to replace it. And it's the Aliens uh, game from Leading Edge. I even had all the miniatures. Uh, they weren't painted uh, like these ones are. But I love the Aliens movie. This is like the probably the best Aliens game that has come out. I used to love playing it and I'm sad that I don't have it. So it's probably my most wanted um, game. Is this a dungeon crawler? It's it's an oldie fashioned like, yeah, work your way through without getting killed. That's pretty cool. I want 1989. Uh, this game came out. 1989? 89. 
Oh my god. It looks pretty good for 89, right? It does. It really does. Huh. I mean, I'm surprised you. What, what, first of all, I want to hear what how this got stolen exactly. Oh, well, let's just say that uh, I was seeing someone and they decided by way of spite uh, that the best thing they could do to me was to keep things that I loved. Uh, so that's why I have no photos of myself uh, younger as well. Same reason. And uh, this was one of the things. So that they took. Yeah, that they kept. So wow, that's low. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I've never been able to replace it. It's so expensive. Um, I imagine it looks really like I'm totally interested. This this yeah. looks awesome. You know, the other day, um, I think. Oh yeah, I remember. One of our band members uh, from at the Starlight has a puppy named Ripley. Yeah, and um, he was, you know, we were talking about how his wife loves uh, aliens and he started talking to me about the movie and I'm like, darn it, I need to watch that again. It's been too long and Angela loves it. Now here's the, the basis from our band, Jeremy, that loves it. I, I need to watch this again. <laughs> yeah, you watch Alien and then Aliens. Watch them in that order. Okay. Oh. You see the growth of Ripley. Oh, okay. Amazing. I just love her. <laughs> I, yeah, no, that's that's awesome. I mean, I love this one. I need to So is this one still available, I wonder? Hmm. The I alien know. what the game? Yeah. You can get it in the second hand market, but it's hundreds of dollars. Yeah. That's that's probably the reason why most of the games are on my list. <laughs> it's because of how expensive they are. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so my first game is a small game. I don't think you could, well, actually, I have two small games, so this is good. Because I, I usually like big games, but this is uh, called Picture Perfect. And I have never seen it uh, in real life, only, only pictures and heard about it. But I just think it's so clever. So what you're doing is you're giving goals. Uh, you have a bunch of standees, like you can see in the pictures, and you have a backdrop, and you are trying to take a photograph uh, based on the goals that you have. So for example, you have to put the banana next to the apples or a big hair lady, uh, a long hair lady next to a old man. So you cannot put the child next to the mother, so, something like that. They'll give you a, a, a few a few things and you get points. And I do believe I could, I, don't call me on this because I can't have played it, but you have to use your phone to take the picture, your actual phone. Um, so you actually just get to keep it, you know, like it's going to be in your phone, whatever, whatever pictures you took. Um, it's the problem is it's a puzzle and I'm terrible with puzzles because it is a very puzzly kind of a game. Um, but I think it's so clever, so different. And that's why it's on my list. It's just also, it's not a solo game and I have nobody to play this with. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it stayed on my list. It's from 2020. Yeah. So, uh, it's about two and a half years old, two, two years old, three, maybe. Uh, and I want it. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm glad that you picked that one. I remember, I think that might be on my list as well. I remember thinking how um, different it was, like you just said. Yeah. I hadn't seen yeah. anything like that before. It looks so cute. Like, look at that. It's, that's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Really good. Mm. Good choice. Yeah, thank you. You might not like my other ones, but. <laughs> <laughs> right. My next one um, is a game that I actually own, but let me explain. I really wanted the Kickstarter and I missed it, the Kickstarter. So I've got the, just the crappy retail version. Oh. And it is, here we go, Project L. Oh, of course. Yeah, you know I'm a sucker for polyomino games, right? Yep. And Project yep. L, the components are so lovely. Because yep. they're made of plastic, they're not cardboard, right? And they've got inset um, playing areas. So, like here, it's actually inside the car. So, right. you, you know, you could give it a little jiggle, and it's not going to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. This is, yeah, I'm really sad still that I missed the big deluxe um, version. But I think they might be releasing some of the Kickstarter stuff that I missed out on at, to retail. 
Uh, so if they do that, I'll definitely be uh, picking it up. Oh, huh. it's so nice. Beautiful. Yeah. It's funny because I remember um, uh, watching a video of this, like watching a run through of someone playing this. And I'm like, ah, this game is not for me. What is in the world? Like, I can't, I am not a puzzle person. And then I went to a small convention, local convention that we have around the area um, with uh, Crawl Board Games, who they're on my channel. They played, they came over and we played a game together. If you want to watch that, we played Furnace together. But at that convention, they were having a tournament of Project L. And Andrew, who runs uh, the convention, told me, you want to sit down and try it? And I was like, this thing, I remember, because I remember the video, right? And then I sat down and I played it and I loved it. I thought it was so fun. And I did not think I was going to enjoy it at all. And it was actually a lot of fun. What a cute game. And, and it's puzzly, but not impossible, right? Yeah. It's, I mean, your family could play it. Yeah. You know, yeah. It, it's, it's that easy. You know I like a family game because I tend to get to play them more than like a hardcore game. It reminded me a little bit of, uh, was it called Century Road? Something like that? That's another easy one, yeah. I, that's funny, has, I just mentioned yesterday that it game. It has a mechanic where you can trade uh, one block, you can upgrade it to another or downgrade it, I don't remember, but you, it, it had that yeah. feel to it, um, but with the with the having to create puzzles and make points. And I thought, how oh, that's, this is interesting how you uh, mesh those two mechanics and it works so perfectly. So, yeah, I never choice. even put the two together, but yeah, you're right. It's the same yeah. same thing. You can uh, like upgrade a one to a two or a two to a three. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, very cool. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going back to the big games. Uh, Dungeon Crawler. This is uh, 8.5 rating on Board Game Geek. Chronicles of Drunagor, I believe it's called. Look how many components this wow. thing has. Of course, I love it. <laughs> um, and, you know, it's one of those things like how many dungeon crawlers does one person need? You know what the answer is? All of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, um, I will tell you why this one is on my list. First of all, it's on my list because it's expensive, but why I like it. Um, it, it does. I'm always looking for a game that has something different. And this game has something different. Hopefully we'll get to see it in one of the pictures. Uh, when, usually in a dungeon crawler, you have a book with maps and you look through the book and it has the map and you set up the map, correct? On this one, what you have is you have these little booklets and um, they're there, I think. And and the, the is this the one with the, yeah. It, it just, you see how it has like levels? Okay, uh, yeah, it's there. Does that show it? So, so see the monster right behind the monster is a little booklet so you have these um uh little booklets and when you explore it's a door so the book that looks like a little door when you explore the the next room going through the door you what you do is you open up that book and that's where you have the map and how to place it and what monsters go in there and everything okay. so you don't have to look through 20 hundred pages of a book you just every door is going to have a little map uh, and I believe, I don't know if it's random, I've never really played it because again, it's expensive, so I don't have it, but it's just, it looks so cool with the levels and the little doors and the exploration, but so many components. Look at that. Oh, so oh. many. Oh. <laughs> Maybe too many. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having conniptions just looking at that picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I know. I, I, I know that lately uh, the, I've been trying to downsize my component, you know, and try to play games that are fast to set up and everything, but I still love this stuff. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> wow. So all right. right. Yeah. And I had not heard of that one at all, but 8.5 rating on Board Game Geek. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why you can't find it. <laughs> I mean, you can find it, but it's very expensive. Yeah. Well, you can see why, can't you? Because that's yes. a lot of components. A lot of components, yeah. True. Awesome. awesome. Good choice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, so my next one, Dice Hunters of Therion. I only just heard about this recently, but when I saw uh, what it looked like, I was like, oh, that looks good. Only a 6.4 uh, rating, but look at these awesome dice. 
Oh, custom dice. Nice. Yeah. So I don't know a lot about it other than I liked the dice and it looks like you use the dice um, to like, I don't know, kill monsters or do whatever you're doing. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. Oh, my God. And there's a raccoon. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> there's a raccoon. <laughs> That's it. You just up the cuteness. Yeah. Well, look this at that is... artwork. Look at the little goat guy. What's that is awesome. Like? You know what? I, I like this one. Eight plus? This this cannot be that complicated. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This shows it better, doesn't it? So, look, you put the dice on the cards. I just, mm -hmm. as I say, I don't know anything about it other than I like the artwork. I love that it uses dice. I know a lot of people don't like dice because it's random. Um, but, yeah, I do really you think, like it. Do you think those rocks come in the box or were those extra? Was there rocks? Yeah, the rocks. Oh, yeah, no, I don't think they came in the box. <laughs> but I hope not because postage would... <laughs> Probably charge you for those. <laughs> yeah, look at those dice. Look how nice they are. So you have attack, you have some sort of... I yeah, can't... probably the usual attack. Yeah. I love this one. That's great. Are you sure this is not my list and you're stealing my list? Uh, I never heard of this one, but I love it. Yeah, I hadn't heard of it either. Uh, but yeah, it made it onto my wants list for sure. Look at the artwork. It's so cool. Your raccoon is wanted. <laughs> Oh, I want a raccoon. I wish we had them here, but we don't. <laughs> oh, so you posted that wanted poster. I see. <laughs> yes. There we go. There's a little one that maybe people haven't heard of. That's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, I do like that. Dice Hunters. Very cool. Nice. All right. So my next one, I know everybody's heard of. Uh, it's another dungeon crawler. And it's... I mean, I don't, I don't know that you've heard about the game in particular, but you've heard about the, the, uh, the what do you call it? Uh, you've heard this name. It's Assassin's Creed Brotherhood of Venice. So, yeah. Of course, we've heard of Assassin's Creed. Exactly. I figure you've heard of Assassin's Creed. Another good rating. Look at that, 8.5. This is from 2021, so it's not super old. But it's been around and I still don't own it. One to four players, which is right up my alley. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah. Is that I, what it comes like out of the box? I don't I don't I don't think so. I think this is I don't I don't think so. <laughs> but it could it could look like that if you had a 3D printer. No, I think <laughs> it's that. <laughs> but it's still really cool. Um, the mechanics, I, I saw a playthrough of it, and you do get up on the roof, and you have advantages if you're on the roof, because of course, you know, Assassin's Creed, that's what they yeah. do, right? They go from roof to roof, so you have to have that there. Um, but it's, it's basically a dungeon crawler, uh, where you're completing missions. There we go, that's that's how it looks like. See how it's just it's just painted, it's on, on, the, on the board uh, itself. I don't think it, I wish, maybe there's a deluxe version somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a lot of components there anyway. Yeah. Nice. But I love the fact that you can play it solo. I'm I've never I've never played I played Assassin's Creed, but I haven't played the full game because those games stress me out, you know, like anything that you have to smash buttons, I I cannot play. <laughs> I'm more of an old school turn-based kind of mechanics, but um but I still think Assassin's Creed is is cool, like the whole idea behind it is is, is really awesome being an assassin and trying to be stealthy and uh, completing missions and, and all of that. So this one definitely caught my attention and it's on my list. But again, another expensive one. So yeah, it's yeah. going to stay on the list for a while. <laughs> we take donations, though, if anybody wants to. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But if you if you are the behind the company that makes this game and you want to, I mean, for me, for one of us to do a playthrough, I will be glad to do that. <laughs> Oh, you, you, you could do the playthrough. I could not. I, I would be too confused. But yeah, wow. Um, let me tell you a little secret. My okay. wife has uh -huh. played every Assassin's Creed game through to uh, one hundred percent. Wow. Like she cannot play them without doing every side quest, mm -hmm. like every single feather or book page or whatever it is that's uh, in that game. Okay. Yeah. She well, loves them. Loves that's them. That's the way to do it. 
Okay, so whenever I finally get it off my list and on my bookshelf, I know who to call. So. Oh, definitely. <laughs> wow. Good choice. Good choice. Yeah. Cool. All right, my next one is one that my son-in-law owns, and I wish I owned it, and I don't. Mm -hmm. And I missed it. I think. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deus of Merchants, 2015. Wow, I didn't realize it was that old. Wow, you know, you're behind. <laughs> yeah. 7.2. 30 minutes. I like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, now you can see already why I like it and why I liked it when he showed it to me. The artwork. Yeah, the artwork. so lovely. <gasps> There's a raccoon. Oh. Annabelle. <laughs> That's it. That's it. There's a raccoon. <laughs> There's the raccoon. It's a good game. <laughs> you know, you know that um, we have a. I also have one of one of those things where, like, for you is the raccoon. That's it. For me is whenever I'm watching a movie, and and everybody, everybody that knows me knows this. If the movie at any point during the movie they have there's a crossbow, it's a good movie. <laughs> crossbow. I love yeah. it. <laughs> yep. At any point, it could just be hanging up on somebody's wall. Nobody needs to use it. Oh, That's wow. It. it doesn't even need to be used. Yeah. No, no. You have a girl's in your movie, it's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> you see, my standards are low. <laughs> but I for like you, there's a raccoon. Like and this, 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 look at, there's the raccoon again. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Yeah, I just like the look of this one. I mean, it's all cards. My right. son in law has got the, the box, is huge the box that he's got. So I'm not sure what version. Um, but yeah, I really wish that I hadn't missed out on this one. And I think it's hard to get. I do remember I did go through um, a little window there where I was looking it up to try and find uh, a secondhand copy and it was nowhere to be found. But, but this is not a deck builder, is it? It's like a multi-use card, kind of like playing, getting resources with the cards. Do you know what? I don't know anything about it other than I want it. We can check uh, the mechanics here in, in a second when we're done with the pictures. I'm curious because yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like a deck builder. You, oh, wow. There's lots going on. Huh. Mechanics. There it is. Auction. Is it, what is this? Auction. Uh, deck bag and pool building. Dice rolling. Hand management. Mm -hmm. Open drafting. Right. Set collection. Wow. <laughs> Take that. Okay. Yeah. You know, and, and you know how I told you about the crossbow, good movie? For me, the minute I hear auction, I say bad game. Yeah, I'm not a fan of um, bluffing and auctions either in yep. games. But yep. now and again, now and again. Now and again, definitely. Now and again, definitely, definitely. Yeah. If, if it's done right. Like, uh, I love the auction system in Furnace because you don't feel like you're losing in Furnace. Even though you might lose, lose the bid, you still always get a reward. But there are times when those auctions just like, Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Just too much of an advantage. I love it. I love, I love it. I love the art. I, I you know, really, really good games on our, on our lists. <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right. What's your next one? Uh, okay, my next one is called Sword and Sorcery. It's from 2017. It has a 7.9 rating on Board Game Geek. And it's another one that you can play solo, another uh, board, uh, dungeon crawler. Uh, I, I know I saw a very intensive playthrough once, and I just loved it. Like, I thought that it was really um, interesting how it was played, but I don't remember, so don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair that's fair yeah what happens is whenever i have i have i have a on my notes on my phone i have a running list of games that i need to check mm -hmm. and so i have a, 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 a very very many <laughs> a very extensive list and once in a while i'll go and i'll try to find more information either on board game geek or see if there's something on youtube or, and whenever there, there's something that i actually want i'll put a happy face next to it and if i've already checked it, but i'm not interested i'll put a check mark so that one has a happy face. So I know that I loved it. I love the miniatures. Look at those. Those are beautiful. They um, are really well detailed, aren't they? Let's go back and have a look. Yeah, wow. very nice. But I do remember there was something special that it wasn't your, your normal uh, dungeon crawler where you do the same thing. There was something added, a special thing that caught my interest. I just don't remember what it is. <laughs> yeah. 
it's fair. You can't remember every single game. But, yeah, it does look like something you would like. There's a whole lot of icons on those cards as well. Yes, yes, there is. Yes, yeah. there is. The more the better. Give me icons. <laughs> <laughs> Give me more. <laughs> Give me more icons, for sure. Yeah, I love it. And I can see, oh, look at that. Oof, so many components. <laughs> That's why it's so expensive, because look at all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. But ultimately, I think you're just rolling and attacking and, you know, going through the dungeon. So. Yeah, but you love that stuff. So. Oh, I love it. I love it. How many dungeon crawlers do I need? All of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> and I think people at Meeple Village will love this stuff. If only I could get my hands on it, you know? Yeah. All right. Nice pick. Yeah. Good job. Have you got any left on your list? I can't remember. What one more. I got one more. One more? Okay. Let me find another one. All right. I'm choosing um, a little bit of a, a weird one here. The theme, the spill. And it's a devastating oil spill, and you have to save the sea creatures. Aww. And I like them because they put a girl on the box as well. Look. Mm -hmm. Your games are so cute. My Nora, all about monsters and dragons and stuff. And <laughs> raccoons and cute turtles. <laughs> well, a, an oil spill is kind of a, a monstrous well, thing to have happen, isn't yeah. it? But yeah, look at this. Yeah, sure. this cool thing in the middle. I don't know. I, don't know. I like the theme and um and yeah, and it reminded me of pandemic. That's why I put mm. on the list. I don't know why, but it's something about it reminded me of uh pandemic. Mm -hmm. Like you've got your character cards here and they've got different sort of things that they can do. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see it. That was that was why. And the even these cards here reminded me of pandemic. Mm -hmm. Like I'd probably enjoy it. But well, it looks like it has some dice because I see like space like where... it does have some dice. Hang on yeah. a sec, because I remember seeing them on the thing. Oh, oh is that a, that's that's a dice it, tower? A dice tower? It looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, oh and then they must maybe they spill out. I see. And then the numbers obviously dictate something. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, it's different, right? I hadn't seen anything like that before. Yeah. I love it. Very interesting. Yeah. I, I'm glad you pointed it out because I would have never known that this... How, what, what year was this from? Do you know? Uh, I think it's 20, uh, 1922. Oh, my God. <laughs> 1922? 20, no. <laughs> it's 2022, I think. It's probably, it's probably oh, yeah. a Kickstarter that I've missed. I like that you can also play a solo. You know, whenever I see one, I'm like, ha, that's... <laughs> yeah. It's like, huh, good. Yeah, I like Cute. that one. I like the theme, I like the art, and I like the mm. uh, dice, more dice. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Uh, so my last one uh, is... It's, I think it's a smaller game. It's it's you gotta you gotta like it just because of the name. It's called Quest for the Lost Pixel. So it's a very cute pixelated a animation. Uh, it is I guess you could call it a dungeon crawler. So what you have to do is you have to I think you have to climb ten different levels in order to win. But look at that art. Look at that retro cool looking. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's I like, see it. It's like you're playing on your Atari, you know, <laughs> but in a board game. I've never heard of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. And it's not, it's not a very, uh, it's, it's not like a three hour game. I don't know, it probably says up there how long it takes somewhere, how long it takes to play. But and look at all those dice. They know how so many dice. Wow. <laughs> it's kind of, that's a lot of rolling. Uh, I love I love rolling dice. I, I think it's, it's fun when you roll the right numbers. It's just so much There's fun. There's a lot going on there, though. Yeah, but I don't There's think it's, I think they're showing you everything. But really, you're just you're just going through one level. You finish that level. You go to the next level. If you go through, the, it's kind of like what's the what's the name? I have it somewhere there. Um, one card dungeon. Have you ever heard of one card dungeon? I have heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like that. You have to finish one level and go to the next, and you have to complete levels like that. So. But I just thought it was so cool that it's so like nostalgia, you know, like yeah. I like that hit. So, so that's on my yeah. list. Nice. I like the little um, the little flask of the potion or whatever it is that's there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice. I think we chose some pretty great games there. I, I think so. And this is a great thing about when we when we get together and we talk about these things because we come 
we both like board games, but we see we didn't even match. None of our games matched today, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. I just learned about five awesome games, and you just learned about five games, so maybe not awesome for you. But that's that's why we do this, uh, and we want to hear about your wish lists and what's yeah. there. What is it that you guys want? Because I love, just like I love trying new things, clothing, food, whatever, I like trying new games. And I always love when you guys point out stuff, I go and check it out. I'm sure yeah, I do as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I, we love hearing what you guys have to say because everybody gets exposed to different things, you know, just, and there's so many games, it's impossible to know them all, right? Yeah. 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 You ready for a game? Yes. All right. So this time around, we're going to play uh, Guess the Component. So I'm going to show you a component from a game, and you have to tell me what game it came from. So I'm going to try and aim this at the camera, so be patient. Uh, this way. Ooh. I think if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, and if you don't like me, you don't. <laughs> you don't know this one? Really? Well... What game is that from, guys? Let us know in the comments below and we'll give you the answer next time. I'm surprised you don't know. I know you have this game. Really? <laughs> oh, I sure. don't recognize it at all. Really? Okay. Well, maybe one of you guys recognizes it and can let us know what is, where is this from? Same on both sides. So, yeah, same, same art. And that's that. So, Great. Let us know what you guys want us to talk about um, so we don't have to like scratch our head thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a topic. Give Hit us the a topic. comment. <laughs> yeah, leave us a comment, guys. We, we love hearing from you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Play more games. <laughs>